So as promised, the boys are over here cleaning the weeds out from our boat slip. Uh, they can only do that because there's no boat beside us and we were able to get up at 6.30 this morning and have the boat out of that slip. Yeah, the weeds are super bad this time of year, every year. Uh, so much so, it's... When I was approaching the slip yesterday when we came back from a pump out, I stopped the boat, put it in gear, and it barely moved. It just... The weeds are almost right to the surface, maybe six inches down. So, of course, it just gets all balled up in the props. So, these guys are good enough to volunteer to come over. They're in the neighborhood anyways. It's part of the community thing. But like I said, they only can do it if uh, the slips are empty. So, we have a double wide slip. Nobody's occupying the slip to our starboard side. So, we were able to get out and have him uh, do his his work it's awesome as you can see it's a very early morning it's Friday morning fine it, that he has to offload it yeah no problem so now the second machine has to come in which is basically a giant pickup truck on the water he offloads what he has in there and then um, that machine will take it over to the road where they have a mini axe setting up there and they'll just take it out and take it away, dump it to wherever they dump it. But this is, if you can believe it or not, an ongoing thing throughout the year. These guys work four days a week, 10 hours a day, just driving around the community, all the canals and lagoons and cleaning out the weeds. Full-time job. And don't ask me, why are the weeds so bad? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a carpet. It's so thick, that stuff. So thick. You barely put a, um, a, a boat hook down into it and pull it up with any ease at all. Well, it doesn't. It's, it's just like a weave. It's so thick. So like I said, I'm very, very happy that they were able to come over and do this for us first thing this morning. And that I was up early enough to actually move the boat. Now, if you've uh, ever seen the videos where I have shown you how to drive an inboard power boat and made um, the comparison to a skid steer loader or a tank for that matter, or a tractor, well, this is the epitome of a skid steer. Just the way that machine works, as you can see, there's just two paddle wheels, one on either side, of course, and he just controls it that way. Right stick forward, turns right, Left forward turns left and both forward goes forward and reverse and opposite, whatever else. And then there's like a little arm that goes down into the water and there's a serrated blade and he cuts it and just pulls it up and draws it out. Very simple. just rolls it up like a carpet. It's awesome. And it's been a very disruptive morning for the little boy. <laughs> okay, now we can go back to our slip silly willy. Okay, the boys are done. And now we can head back all that way, 100 feet over to our slip, not even 100 feet. So yeah, happy that uh, they were able to do that. Now we're <laughs> I'm gonna actually be able to drive in and out of this slip a little bit easier. You know, even backing up, just the way the props turn in reverse, it just it pulls the boat and it, it's a great loss of control with all the weeds being wrapped around there. So again, just really, really happy that they were able to come over here this morning and do it and that we were able to arrange it while we were here and that it was such a beautiful calm day. Everything worked out spentabulously. So a good start to our Friday. That's it for this one. See you in the next one. Cheers.